This one is, you know, about, or actually a little over 50% profit margin, which is fantastic. For most businesses, if you get to 20%. All right, in this edition of Would I Buy This? We have a large Florida tree service company. All right, what do they mean by large? Let's look at the numbers. So, gross revenue, 2.367 million. Cash flow, 1.237 million. Wow, okay. That's one of the things I've noticed about tree service businesses, for whatever reason. Um, we've done some due diligence projects for tree service businesses, and in the process of doing that, we always look to see what comps are, comparable sales of other businesses. And for whatever reason, tree service businesses seem to have super high profit margins. I don't know if it's because the equipment to get into it is pretty expensive. You need the big bucket trucks and the, and the grinders, and you need people who are skilled enough to do it without killing themselves. Um, but you know, there's a reasonable barrier to entry to starting a tree service business. And as a result, or maybe there's a different reason, I'm not sure, uh, they generally seem to do really well profit-wise. So this one is you know, about, or actually a little over 50% profit margin, which is fantastic. For most businesses, if you get to 20%, you're happy. 25%, you're really happy. Anything over 25%, you know, you're, you're killing it. You're doing great as a business. So over 50%, I mean, that's about as good as it gets for, especially for a business with real employees and real equipment. We're not talking about a virtual business. The asking price reflects the fact that this is a super profitable business. They're asking $10 million. I would put the price more like mm, 6 million, uh, a little over four times. Um, because the thing with a business like this is, um, and they, well, they're saying the furniture fixtures and equipment is valued at $3 million. Um, that seems like a lot to me for a business that's doing only 2.3 million. Maybe that's right though, but, uh, that still implies that you could get everything this business needs to run with for 3 million bucks. So you're still paying more than four times that on top of the equipment value they're getting. So, yeah, I think 10 million is probably just too high, but it's a free country. They can ask whatever they want. Maybe they'll get uh, more than six, anything over six, I think would be a win for them. Six, I would call a fair price. Um, let's see if there's anything in here. Yeah, it says over three million in specialized tree equipment. Well, specialized tree equipment is just bucket trucks and, and wood grinders, but um, they are in Florida and they're pointing out hurricane and disaster cleanup and oversized trees. Um, they have a lot of work. Well, that makes sense. Florida is getting ravaged by hurricanes all the time. That's always blowing down trees. So even if you're not necessarily looking to fix the trees in your yard or do maintenance, there's still potentially going to be a lot of work and not just homeowners, but businesses, uh, you know, strip malls, the cities, the counties, they all may need that service as well and could contract it out. So I think Florida would be a good place for this kind of business. And you know, this is certainly, like I said, it's a high profit business. If the price was more in line, I would be much more excited about it. But maybe, you know, it has to sit on the market for a while uh, for the price to come down, or maybe somebody's gonna go in and snap it up and figure they can make it out, make it work later or grow the business enough to justify the price. But um, in general, if I was looking to start a business or buy a business today, I would definitely look at tree service businesses and for whatever reason, they seem to be super profitable and I'm a big fan of super profitable. Uh, so for that reason alone, I would be interested in tree service businesses. Uh, this one, I would just want to see the price more in line with what you're getting for it.